Today, downtown Gatlinburg was back open for business. It was the first day visitors were able to enter the city. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb was there as the Gatlinburg tourists return. We've seen hundreds of people walk the parkway here in Gatlinburg as the stores are now open for business, but it is a much different story from where the fires ravaged the town more than a week ago. If it weren't for the message on the road sign entering town, today's our first day back at it. You might think nothing's wrong. We're happy to be here. But just beyond this street, the damage is far from nothing. It's like everything. Every house, every every house you could see. Firefighter Ken Carter, surveying the damage on Village Loop Road, has experienced a lot in his 31 years on the job. I've seen houses like this, but I mean, not whole neighborhoods. I mean, it's just. But never the loss of his own home. You know, a lot of a lot of memories of things that I've done up here and. You know, it's, it's just a question of starting over. I mean, that's all you can do. After standing tall for 17 years, mm. the Gatlinburg fires reduced Ken's home to a pile of questions. Man, this is just, I wasn't prepared for this. Where do you begin? Oh, that was a computer that was pretty much upstairs. Here's your mattress. <laughs> yeah. How do you go on after a fire that took everything? Well, I still got the view. Still got the view. <laughs> and the hot tub. For Ken and his friend Clint Bowman. We're floating 50 feet out there in the driveway. It's the little things that tell them the people here will recover. Yeah, there's a bird over there sitting on a burned limb. That's the first one I've seen since I've been up here Monday. It may be a while before everything wrong here is made right again. Ken himself says he'll move on after today this this is my day to look back after this i'm going to look forward there you go but what a day Man. today has been jason lamb news channel 5.